Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Keep your sketches coming in and we'll give you our address to send them to at the end of the day. Yes, and talking about bad weather, how about that for a link? Here we uh, go. Running Loose will be up in the Lake District where it is teaming it down and they've got to climb a mountain, but two of them are missing. It's all go there. You can see that at 4.45. But first it's turn on to d -bag. Oh, no, not another old black and white movie. Ah, that's better. Well, here I am in the first programme. New York. Question is, where do I find the next crystal? Look at her! Look at her! Little busybody sticking her nose in where she's not wanted. If we're not careful, T-shirt, this one could undermine our entire operation. Blast and double blast. Trust my luck to get landed with another meddlesome miss. Deborah was bad enough, but this one... Oof! Relax, Your Majesty. Don't get so worked up. You take things far too serious, you know. You stupid boy, this is serious. Can't you grasp the situation? If she gets all nine of those crystals, I shudder to think what will happen. She'll never find them. Oh, where have I heard that before? I can't afford to let her out of my sight for a minute. So while I'm keeping tabs on Miss Trouble, you can see to that lot. What is it? I can't start broadcasting to the nation unless I'm properly prepared, can I? It's a list of all the things I'll need. Now see to it. Music, publicity, photographs, scripts, titles... Don't read it. Do it. Do what? Oh, show some initiative, boy. Start at the top and work your way through. Music? Yes, music. I'll need to have my own theme music if I'm going to have my own show, won't I? See what you can rustle up. OK. Now, Miss Hollyanna Jones, let's see what you're up to. That was a close shave. Something tells me it would be a very smart move to temporarily transfer this newly acquired inheritance to a somewhat less precarious account. In other words, hide this loot and fast. Excuse me? What is it? What is it? What's all the noise? What's going on? Ah, beat it, kid. It's none of your business. I only asked. Has something happened? Ah, you could say that. Well, what? Well, some guy knocked over the jeweler's store on 2nd Avenue and ran off with a fistful of diamonds. Wow. Yeah, it has caused a great deal of commotion, as you can see. The entire neighborhood is crawling with cops. They've got roadblocks in every corner. Any minute now, they will be moving in. Oh, great. I'm in a hurry. I don't want to get mixed up in all this. Ah, you're just a kid. You'll be OK. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. The cops ain't interested in no kids. The cops ain't interested in no kids. Wow. Pardon? Uh, uh, up there, look. Up there on the rooftops. Where? Up there, can't you see? There's a guy, yeah, right up there. He's tiptoeing over the rooftops. See, you point him over there. Where? Oh, up there for crying out loud. That must be the guy the cops are after. Well, I can't see anybody. Too late. He's gone. We better tell the police. We better do that very thing, little lady. Show to them that we are honest, upstanding members of the community. Fudge and fairy cakes. Wouldn't you just know it? That irksome girl's gone and got the next blasted crystal, and she doesn't even know it. Oh, this is too bad. Before you can say, butter me a biscuit, she'll have gone and got her sweaty palms on the whole lot, and then where will we be? T-shirt! Oh, I thought you were strangling a cat. What are you doing? What you told me to. Writing a jingle for your TV show. Listen to this. T-bag, T-bag, Really get into this fiddling luck. Pack it in, will you? But I like it. I've got to get those crystals back off that girl. Curse it. Uh -oh. Big Ed Malone, I might have guessed you'd be here. Funny, but whenever there's trouble, you're never far away. Ah, please, Chief O'Reilly. Give me a break, huh? I mean, uh, what are you intimidating here? I hope you do not think I had anything to do with that very terrible jewellery store robbery. Don't you play the giddy goat with me, Malone. 
I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest least if you weren't in this up to your armpits. Now, that is a severe misinterpretation of the truth, Police Chief O'Reilly. No, I think the man you're after went climbing over that roof. Up there. Yeah, up what? there. Yes, up there. I didn't actually see him myself. Oh, but the hokey. Sure Look, get out from under me feet, will you? This is serious business I'm attending to. But if you hurry, you no, might catch off him. off you go. Whilst I have a cosy chinwag with this nice gentleman here. But if you Scram, hurry... Scram, will you? Oh, well. If you insist. Well, I'd better go along with you, little Hold lady. Hold your horses, Malone. You're going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, but... until they've searched you, at least. Uh, well, I would be very happy for you to do that, but uh, make it fast, huh? I have uh, very urgent business of a most important nature to attend to, huh? See what I tell you, huh? I'm as clean as a whistle. Now may I go? I'm not satisfied. Oh, Riley, do me a favor. Now, Dan, where were you at three o'clock this afternoon? T-shirt, I told you to pack in that infernal row. No, listen, I've got it now. You like this. Pack it in! Now, what more can I tell you, huh? You heard the entire story of my life, huh? Now, please, please, may I go? Very well. But I still say there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm going to nail you one of these days, Malone. You see if I don't. <laughs> Thankfully, the heat is off me. But no sign of the girl. What looked like a clever plan is more than irreversibly backfired on me in the wrong direction. Tree Tutty, gotta call the boys. Hello, operator. Get me Chicago. Tree. Tree, tree, tree. And hurry. Hello, boss. This is Big Ed calling to you from New York. Ah, sure, it went like a dream. The diamonds? <clears throat> well, there has been an unfortunate development in that department. Uh, I lost them. Keep your hair on, huh? I'll get him back. I'll get him back. Oh, but the hokey. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. That's the 15th robbery this month, and not a single solitary arrest to show for it. If I don't put somebody behind bars soon, I'd be the laughing stock of the whole police force. I, ah, oh, oh, if I could only get my hands on that rotten sneak thief, I'd lock him up and throw away the key. That's it. Oh, you genius, you. What are you? A genius. T-shirt, I'm just popping out. Won't be long. What a hokey. Oh, pardon me, officer. Did I startle you? No, you didn't. What is you after? Well, I work as a hat check girl down at the Kit Kat Club on 32nd Street, see? So what? Well, it so happens that every day at about 3 o'clock, I come out of the subway on 2nd Avenue to take a bus down to 32nd Street. Look, where I lady, work. what is it you want? I'm a very busy man. I've no time to waste listening to you squawking in my ear. Well, that's charming, I don't think. That's what you get for going out of your way to help the police. Some help. Haven't you blathering away 20 to the dozen? Ha. Well, if you don't want to know what I saw happening, on 2nd Avenue this afternoon at the jewelry store, then that's no skin off my nose. Jewelry? But the hokey. You mean you were there at the scene of the crime? I certainly was. <sighs> but of course, you're far too busy to listen to me squawking, aren't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Here, madam, have a seat. Have a cup of coffee. I never touched this stuff. What's that? I never touched this stuff. That's what I told you, sir. Right. Tell me all about it. Well. There was I, standing at the bus stop, painting my fingernails, when all of a sudden, boom. What happened? I got nail varnish all over my brand new paint and other shoes. That's what happened. No, no, I mean, did you catch sight of the thief? I surely did. Oh, can you describe him? No. Ah. Uh, However. Yes. I can describe his accomplice. He had an accomplice. I'll say. Great. Shoot. Well, she was a little girl about so high. Girl. That's right with brown hair and wearing a hideous pink outfit. Amazing. She has all the stolen diamonds in her bag. Oh, but the double hokey. I've seen her, as large as life and twice as devious, outside Tony's ice cream parlor. Oh, thanks for the information, lady. 
You've been a big help. Thank you. The pleasure was all mine. Where do I even begin to look in a city this size? The kid could be miles away by now. On the other hand, the kid could be just around the corner. Hello again. Oh, oh it's you. I got lost. I must have walked around in a huge circle. May I say how pleasurable it is to meet up again with your acquaintance once again so soon. Thanks. Oh, listen, there's something I meant to ask you. It's about this. Hey? Put those away for class. Well, now, here's a pretty picture. Gotcha. Red-handed. You're under arrest. That's got that hateful, horrible holly out of my hair. A stroke of brilliance on my part, wouldn't you say so, T-shirt? Right, I've cracked it now, Your Majesty. Pin back your ears, get a load of this. Shut up! Oh, this is murder. Go and annoy somebody else with that thing. You know what your trouble is, don't you? You don't appreciate good music. Well, I'm going somewhere where they do. Don't hurry back. Don't worry, boss. I will have the merchandise for you in the not-too-distant future. You sent who to get the diamonds from me? Little Legs Lawson? He's what? He's the meanest piece of work on the East Coast? He did what to his grandmother? Oh, boy, that's terrible. Uh, hey, boss, uh, apart from the Little Legs, how will I recognize this Little Legs Lawson? Four foot, seven and a half inches of pure badness. Carrying a machine gun in a violin case. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, he sounds really delightful. Yeah. Don't worry, boss. I'll get it all for you. Four foot, seven and a half inches. Machine gun in violin case. Hello. Hey, uh, hi. Uh, uh, four foot seven and a half inches. Violin case. You what? Uh, nothing, nothing. I was just admiring your violin case. Oh, yeah. I'm a real killer with this thing. Yeah, yeah, I bet you are. Certain people call it murder, but what do they know? Yeah, what do they know? They know nothing. That's what they know. That's right. How would you like a quick verse? No, no. Uh, uh, listen, buddy. How would you like a nice ice cream to cool you down a bit, huh? What do you say? Ice cream? Great, thanks. In there. Hey, take all the time you want, huh? Uh, hey, Tony. Hello. Uh, give my little friend here the works, huh? Double of everything. Prego. Great. In there. Oh, boy. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Got it. Hello, operator. Get me the police department. Let me out of here! Not until you tell me the name of your accomplice. I didn't have an accomplice! Oh, so you robbed it on your own, did you? No! Let... O'Reilly? Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. I can tell you here and now the name of the man who robbed the jewelry store. Do you have a pencil? Uh, hang on a sec. Hang on there. Just a sec. Uh, pencil. Here, borrow mine. It, it's all right. I found one. Oh, that's okay then, because mine's broken. Right. Fire away. Yes. Little legs. Lawson. Yes, I got that. And do you know where I can find the rogue? Yeah. You'll find him right here in Tony's ice cream parlor. He's a short guy carrying a machine gun in a violin case. You better hurry. Oh, two tip-offs in one day. That is amazing. Hey, let me out of here. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, kid. Oh, it's you. Tell me quick. Where are the diamonds? It was you who robbed that store, wasn't it? Button your lip, kid. Just make with the sparklers. Tough luck and too bad. I haven't got them anymore. They're locked up in that safe where nobody can get at them. Oh! I can see that this situation calls for remedial action of a somewhat drastic nature. What do you mean? Stick around, kid. 
and you'll find out exactly what I mean. Okay, I know you're in there. This is a raid. Come on up with your hands on your head and no funny business now. Come on, I'm going to count to three. One, two. What's the matter, eh? Don't shoot, don't shoot. Is there no peace to be had around here? What in the name of toasted tea cakes is going on? Oh, Miss Horrible Holly. What are you doing? Quiet. Dynamite! I said quiet! Are you blowing the safe open? No. I am preparing cucumber sandwiches for the Royal Garden Party. That's what I'm doing. Are you sure you're using enough dynamite? Sure, I'm sure. A very small detonation is what is required here. Hmm. Don't know about that. What do you mean? Police Chief O'Reilly was telling me that that safe is dynamite proof. Oh, yeah? Okay, we'll use three. Three? Ha! Huh. We'll double it and we'll use six. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. Oh, you think I am, huh? We'll use the whole lot then. your point, I believe you. You are not Little Legs Lawson. Will you stop that terrible noise? Oh, that's better. Peace, perfect peace. <laughs> there, all ready to go. Speak up, what's the game? Hello, my dear. Enjoying your little stay in jail, are you? Good, fine. You got me into this mess, didn't you? Did I? Yes, I suppose I did. I hate you. The feeling's entirely mutual, I can assure you. Now then, mister, what's going on? There, there, what the... You're... Can't oh. be having this, can we? Oh, no! What tarnation? The police station! Quick! Proof, did somebody say? Oh, 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 but the triple hokey, Big Ed Malone. Got you at last. Not yet, you haven't. Out of my way, because I am coming true. Oh! I promised I'd nab you one of these days. Didn't I, Malone? Yeah. Uh, your Majesty. Take me home. Oh, my poor aching head. Don't worry, Your Majesty. We'll soon add the kettle on. Then I can play you some nice, soothing music. <laughs> right, Malone. Let's put you behind bars where you belong. <laughs> right you are, sir. I'll do that. With pleasure, sir. Right, little lady. Let's sort this matter out. Now, what's yours and what isn't yours? Well, this is mine. Uh-huh. Oh. And is that yours, too? I wish it was. But it isn't. Ah, uh, don't be so sure. What do you mean? Well, that was the owner of the jewelry store I was talking to. Yes. And I told him how you helped recover his diamonds. Yes. And he was over the moon. He said you could choose any one of these lovely pieces as your award. Oh, great. Now I've got two. Well, thanks. Thanks, Ed. Ah, nuts. Ooh. <laughs> there. What do you think of that? I don't care. I was getting fed up with the violin. Oh. Yes, the violin wasn't really me somehow. I agree. So that's why I've taken up this.
Well, T-shirt on the violin is not unlike Gary's singing. <laughs> no, it's, I thought he was very good on the drums, actually. <laughs> more T-shirt next week with T-bag. Yes. Now then, he's dashing. He's a real amphibian about town.